Oh, welcome to the Audience Film Festival you. Uh, for yourself. Uh, you're being honored for what um, at this film festival? Um, I'm receiving the Maverick Award tonight. So what does that mean uh, to you? Uh, I like the word. I always thought it would make a good baby name. <laughs> um, I, like, I like what it means. It means setting new standards, blazing a trail, uh, doing your own thing, do, you know, doing it obviously, I guess, to some note to receive this award, so I'm really honored. I mean, I have received um, some career awards, and uh, they're always, they always have a funny name. Like, I have received the Rogue Award, the No Limits Award, and the Auteur Award. So to get the Maverick Award is a really, it just starts to feel like my next award's gonna be most unemployable or something, like <laughs> most biggest rebel award or something, so. And it's good, I mean, I, I don't, I believe that we, we need to do whatever it takes to make great work. And all I do is stay determined to make my great work. So that's all I do. Make my work great, rather. So that's, that's all that I try to do. I don't have my eye ever set on any award in particular, you know. Now, I understand that uh, you did actually trailblaze uh, through here, especially uh, being a role model for uh, female filmmakers. I mean, I try. I think that because I had a baby right when Dig, I finished Dig, and there's really no coincidence there. I mean, I had the baby the week I finished Dig because I didn't want to bring my baby into mother. I didn't want to bring Dig, this crazy rock saga I've been filming for 17, seven years, into motherhood because I needed to have a baby for the first time, you know? Yeah. So I finished the movie, and then the movie won Sundance when Juki was 11 weeks old. So Juki was in 17 countries. That's where I got the 17. By the time he was two. So people saw me breastfeeding down the streets of Paris or Vienna or wherever, or right before I went on a you know, late night with Carson Daly or something. And I think it showed them that it didn't matter if they had a baby or they were a mother or whatever, they could still pursue their, their dreams, you know? And I think also just not feeling all the time, like there's this glass ceiling. People always ask me, how does it feel to be a woman filmmaker and et cetera, et cetera. And I feel like it feels the same as to be any filmmaker. You know, you just, if you're a filmmaker, you're a filmmaker and you work hard to make your films and that's what you do. And it's very hard work to make great films um, because you have to think on all levels and you really have to hone through if you're making a documentary, prune the language, write it essentially from whatever you gathered in the field you know what to gather in the field so that you can edit. So my recommendation to all director, documentary directors out there is to learn to edit so that you know what to shoot so that you can edit well. And um, what, what current projects do you have right now? I believe it's a... Uh, in the middle of having a TV series on the air called Jungle Town that just started on March 28th, so it just premiered. Um, and it's 10 hours but it's also a feature length documentary. So the first season is 10 hours in length and it's very exciting to share. What it is, is it's about a sustainable town in the jungle uh, being built by a bunch of kids who facing climate disaster and the wired world are moving to Panama to the study abroad program that's one of the top rated in the world actually in terms of their feedback, but it's a hard place to be and they're trying to learn a new way to live. And some of them really are tested against themselves and each other. Um, but at the same time, I can explore issues that are typically considered so dry, nobody wants to watch them. You know, like about phosphorus in the environment or black soldier fly regeneration or whatever it is, ways to compost, right? We don't think about, we don't want to yeah. think about those things. Or if we do, we think about it in a very didactic five minute video. This is an opportunity to look at it in a suspense-driven, fun, entertaining, and po it looks possible. You know, I made a movie about climate change called Cool It, mm -hmm. all about solutions, but people don't want to see that after working heavy-duty days and being stressed out. They want to watch Breaking Bad or yeah. Orange is the New Black or Stranger Things, you know what I mean? But so do I. But I think that Jungle Town provides you with that kind of ride and that kind of experience where you enter a new world, mm -hmm. but you're actually learning things too, simultaneously, so Perfect. I'm very excited about it. And then I also have Maplethorpe coming up, a script that I wrote to direct about Robert Maplethorpe that we're shooting in the summer as Terrific. well. Terrific. One last question. What does it mean to be here at the Audience Awards? I think that 
any opportunity to help independent filmmakers and young filmmakers find their way is something that I'm very passionate about. So I'm glad this organization exists and I'm honored to be here winning the Maverick Award tonight. Okay, terrific. Hey, thank you for speaking thank with me. Hey, thank you. And be sure to keep your browsers tuned to lrmonline.com for the latest news, bochinche, and analysis. Thank you.